Hey guys, what's up? So, for a while now, people have been asking me what would happen if you blew compressed air into a PVC pipe? Would it act as an organ reed, or would it just do nothing? And actually, I've been wondering that myself, so I took the opportunity, uh, when I was cleaning the tubulum for its latest video that it was in, by the way, it was in a latest video that it was in. So anyway, I was cleaning it off with compressed air, and uh, I figured I'd play around with that, and it actually had some fairly successful results. Roll click! So as you can see from that video, I was actually holding the compressed air thing uh, a fair distance away from the tube, and there's a good reason for that. It actually turns out that if you stick your compressed air thing directly into the tube, you get pretty much nothing. And that is due to pressure differential, or whatever people who know what they're talking about call it. Essentially, the compressed air spritzer thingamajig needed to be a certain distance away from the pipe in order for buffeting or turbulent flow to occur, which would cause a pressure differential, which would cause a note to happen. Actually, this would be easier to test if I had a PVC head with me. Uh, anyone? Anyone? Um... So, looking at one of my tubulum heads, it actually looks kind of like an organ reed, but it is, unfortunately, backwards. With an organ reed, you have something that looks essentially more like this, with kind of an inclined part, and it looks like a cutout has been made in the pipe, which it essentially has. And in an organ reed, this inclined plane here is tuned in such a way that this kind of whistle effect is constant, and you don't need something blowing at a certain distance into the pipe in order to maintain that. If any of this actually makes sense, I would be surprised. So the verdict is that a tubulum can be played as a wind instrument, albeit not a very effective one. It could be an organ if it was an organ, but it's a percussion instrument. So I hope this was somewhat informational for you, it was definitely interesting to me, and uh, there will be more videos on the way soon. I'm really not very good at talking at cameras. For instance, I did this last sentence about five times, uh, and this was the best one. So uh, I'm, I'm really, I'm really not, I'm really not, I'm really not, I'm really not. Yeah, apparently I like editing more than I like talking at cameras. Also, be sure to let me know what kind of vlogging style you really prefer. Do you want to see an As It Happens, Here's What I'm Doing vlog shot on my phone? Which I don't have with me, but my phone. Or do you prefer this kind of vlog in which I talk about something that's interesting to me? Or do you want a, uh, a different kind of style of vlog? I'm going to put this down. Yeah. So, uh, you'll see me in the next video. I'm gonna, um, yeah.